tragic and devastating fireball explosion sent three teens to the hospital in Utah County. All three were severely burned across their bodies. New specialist Dan Rascone has this story and joins us live. Dan, what went wrong? Yeah, Dini, according to investigators, all three teens were up at American Fork Canyon over the weekend when they let, lit a spillway on fire with gasoline. Well, it exploded catching them on fire as well or injuring them as well. Now all of them are in the hospital facing some very severe injuries. We're just coming to hang out with some friends and have some fun on the water. Tibble Fork Reservoir, a popular place as the sun comes out and the weather warms. Beautiful temperature, beautiful weather. But for three teenagers, a fun time up American Fork Canyon turned tragic. And at some point, the, the cab notes described an explosion. Investigators say the teens went to the Silver Lake Spillway just above the reservoir, where they doused it with gasoline and then lit it on fire. That caused a fireball explosion, severely burning the kids. They uh, uh, were burned all over, primarily face and arms and, and maybe legs, and they were driving themselves to the hospital. All three students go to Lehigh High School. The Alpine School District releasing a statement saying our thoughts are with these students and their families as they recover. Yeah, that's crazy what happened. A tragic and sad situation for these teens who are suffering from a very bad decision they thought might have been a spectacular sight to see. Whether these young men got gasoline on them and that burned or whether the flames themselves caused the burn injuries, but the description in the cab notes was that they uh, uh, were burned all over. Investigators are saying with one of the boys at 18 years old, he may have been set to graduate this week. We are not able to confirm that, but we are being told that two of the boys have been moved over to the burn unit there at the University of Utah. Dini, back to you. Well, that's tough news, Dan. Thank you.